In a nutshell, when we talk about what this case is, it's a case where a family had to put their full faith and trust in this nursing home, and that trust was terribly betrayed. That's what this case is about. The nurses were supposed to be coming into the room and giving her treatments, including putting like ointments and creams on the area to, to prevent skin breakdown. And if you just look at the records from December 16th to 30th, it hey, looked like they were doing everything just right, checking out that they're doing the ointments on the morning shift, afternoon shift, the night shift, okay? But you're not going to believe those records. And how can I tell you that? Because when she went to Shams on New Year's Eve and was in the hospital for 18 days, their nurses kept documenting in the records that they were still going in her room and putting on the treatments. One of them even wrote that they came in and she refused the treatment. And so they said, oh, you have the right as a resident not to get treated, so I'm going to leave now. That's what they put in the record. Five different nurses. This wasn't an isolated event where one nurse made some sort of mistake that they're going to want you to think, oh, this was just a computer glitch. Five different nurses on many, 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 many days, including three of the nurses in January, the weeks after she left, continued documenting that they were doing these ointments and treatments to prevent a bed sore when she wasn't even there. So when you look at the notes from December 16th to December 30th, the time that that fallacious bed sore happened, and they're going to want you to believe, hey, it wasn't our fault, we did everything we were supposed to be doing, you see we were doing these ointments. They kept saying they were still doing it when she wasn't even there. 